Welcome back, survivors, to episode 6 of 7 Days to Die Experimental, currently being recorded on the PC. Oh, and for my uh, console friends who uh, enjoy the game currently on console, uh, Alpha 15 is not out for, for console yet. I get that question quite a bit. Please stop asking it. <laughs> I'll let you guys know if there's any updates. But anyways, moving on. I think I found out a temporary solution for my mic popping. Uh, now, normally I have my gain turned way down on my mic because I have obnoxious loud neighbors, uh, which do tend to make a lot of noise. So I have to turn my mic gain down and pretty much to uh, push the mic up <clears throat> closer to my face so I can cut out a lot of that noise. But what I realized is that popping sound is actually a really low, I'm just making sure I have everything I need here, um, is a really low audible sound. It's actually not that loud. What I do is I turn up the audio track in the recording. And what I'm doing is, is I'm boosting, oh, I need to make some spikes here. Um, what I'm doing is I'm boosting that popping noise by doing the recording that way. So what I've done is I've turned the gain on my mic way up. Uh, I do apologize if you guys do catch any background noise, uh, but it is my current situation and there's uh, uh, fuck all I can do about it right now. I am in the process of moving. I was promised a professional place to live at and I was pretty much lied to to get in here so they can sell the place. Um, so I'm kind of stuck here right now, but we're doing the best with it that we can. And happy Saturday to you guys. Fr happy friggin' Saturday. Uh, I think it is actually fall. You know what? I was talking with that, uh, to a friend about that last night. I was like, you know what? Fall's right around the corner. And I think yesterday was actually the first day of fall, if, uh, if he's correct. I forgot to look that up. Damn, summer is over. I can't believe it. But you know what? We have cool stuff coming up, like The Walking Dead, Halloween, Christmas. I mean, it's, it's not all bad, right? We got all that stuff coming up. And I mean, fucking Alpha 15. What the hell? I mean, you can't really complain, right? It's uh, At least Alpha 15 didn't drop right at the beginning of summer. And at least I saw some sun this summer, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, so what we're going to do here today is we are going to go and uh, I'm actually going to use that bunker as a forge house. Uh, so that way the the forge doesn't get all fucked up and I don't have to deal with the screamers while I'm around. But as has been brought up, you can make uh, bellows now out of... I'm looking for all the zombies. I think it's because I already cleared this area. I don't know. We went over this in the last video. Um, but you can make forges now out of leather as well, too, which makes sense, right? If you can build it out of animal hide, you should be able to build them out of leather. And yes, this door is locked. And uh, so what I'm going to do is we're going to go and we're going to raid one of these mansions. And we're going to try to get ourselves some leather here so that we can get together a forge and get it into... Um, hmm... What's in here? I forget. Is that a side door? Oh yeah, here we go. And uh, once we have that, we can get it into that bunker and then have a safe forge house and not have to deal with all the attention uh, from the uh, from the forge. So I can have some uh, place to chill out overnight. Now in the morning, I will have to go and I will have to clear out. Uh, let's go. Oh, toilet. There it is. I will have to clear out. Uh, the forge area because there will be a ton of zombies around it or just one screamer, you know, whatever Maybe I can take out that screamer from a distance maybe from a rooftop or something But I'm gonna go this way this time because usually what I do is I usually play entirely underground and honestly to me That's that's starting to really Really get old. I don't know why I checked that when I said locked uh, But that's really starting to get old now and I just don't want to be doing that anymore. Don't forget these medicine cabinets. Oh, yes, and if you ever see these taps here, especially in the mansions, uh, just as a heads up, uh, these taps actually, uh, they, they should give you brass. Let's see here. Break it down. Oh, I wish I had a faster axe. I did dump some skills, though, into tool making as well, so... Um, a weapon, weapon smithing? Oh, okay, you only, you only get one? Oh, wait. Okay, you get the whole brass faucet. Let's scrap that down and see how we're going to get. Okay, 12 scrap brass out of a brass faucet. And more if you use it in the um, in the forge. Also, too, these brass lights will also give you brass as well, too, if you guys are ever out scavenging. Um, I actually didn't know that until about three months ago. I, I never thought of um, trashing the, uh, the brass stuff in these in these mansions. I know they're in other uh, POIs as well, too. I just I can't really think of any off the top of my head. So this one mansion should give us enough to build a bellows. Like I even got, I even got three friggin, um, 
bar is off that last uh, loot. Sweet, some more ammo. I'll take that. Always search everything at this point. Oh, those don't... Okay, no cotton on those. I guess maybe it's just the curtains that give you cotton. Uh, unlocked. Nice. I'll take those feathers. Why not? Those beds give you so many materials. I love those beds. Always hit up the beds when I'm in a place. Okay, cool. More couch. This should actually give us more than enough leather. 16? Yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. So I'm going to finish banging up this couch here. And we're actually going to go and try to break into that bunker POI. Um, all I'll do at the stairs there is just throw in... Yeah, I'll come back to this later and we'll loot it for stuff we need. I just really needed leather. I was more concerned about that. So we are going to make ourselves a bellows so we can get a forge going. Here we go. Now, these spikes aren't as effective as before. But at least now, they'll slow down the dogs, right? Like, they give you a chance to get a shot in or something on them. The dogs are so damn quick now. And they hit you from so far away. It's, it's, it's insane. Just absolute nuts how often that happens. Okay, awesome. Let's go break into that bunker POI, see what we got going on. And it's only 8.09 in the morning, which is freaking awesome cool, because we have, like, the whole day. I, I went into one house and pretty much got enough stuff to make, make a forge now. So if they keep that balance, getting the forge should be no problem whatsoever, like, it's especially before day 7. And, I mean, it doesn't even matter anymore because you get... Um, uh, you get you get screamers right away now, so it doesn't even matter if you uh, because before, what I used to do. Oh, I just got the embalmer. Uh, before, what you used to have to do, or what you wanted to do, was you're in a huge rush to kill a lot of animals so that you can get all the animal hides, uh, so that you can get a forge going like way before day seven, so that you could uh, avoid all of the. Uh, all of the screamer attention, right? Just keep it blasting for like seven days straight and you're good to go. Uh, that doesn't seem to be a thing anymore. So that's cool though. I can deal with that. As we found out from the uh, screamer attention I got in uh, the boom video. Uh, or not the boom video, the bad idea video. Uh, now, <laughs> um, I do realize that some of that heat was from the animal carcasses. I, I guarantee you it was animal carcasses. Fuck, this is going to take forever to get into. Oh, you know what? I'm going to go right here because those are stairs and I'll have to... Oh, I really wish I had a better tool for this. These things are so hard. Damn, this is going to take a while. Whatever. I'm going to continue banging this. I'm going to cut it out and I'll see you in a second. Okay, so like two minutes later. Oh my god, I was hitting it for like five HP a hit. It was insane. Ooh, I should make some wood frames before I jump down here. Uh, what I did was I was getting frustrated because my, my, uh, <laughs> it was a low-level stone axe. So I was getting frustrated with it. So what I did was I went and I was like, oh, shit, I have like 15 points here. And what I did was I, I just bump, or, uh, pumped a whole bunch of points into uh, toolsmithing. So that way I have a be way better tool now. Okay, let's get these in here. What I'm going to do is when I leave this place, I'll just cover up that hole with a wood frame and I'll use these frames to ner nerd pull my way in and out. Now, there is going to be more doors here. Oh, this is going to be frustrating. And this one's actually going to take quite a while. So what I'm going to do, of course, is I'm actually going to cut this out. Oh, how long is this actually going to take? Maybe way longer. Oh, I want to break into this bunker so bad. <laughs> oh, look, I already broke down a little bit of a level. That's exciting. Uh, anyways, I'm going to cut this out. You know what? I'm going to just hold my mouse button down. If I end up spending my night in here, I end up spending my night in here. Uh, but we are going to be getting into this bunker. So I'm going to uh, go get some duct tape, tie my mouse button down, and I'll see you guys in a quick second here. Okay, so I looked at my inventory here, and I hear animals getting hurt. I saw a chicken as well, too. Did it kill itself? Did it kill itself? There's got to be, like, dead animals all over the place. Stupid dead animals killing themselves and attracting screamers. That's exactly what's going to happen in the desert now. Is you're going to have a bunch of animals rubbing up against cacti like idiots and killing themselves. Anyways, <clears throat> I was down there and I realized, oh, damn. I need some clay. Like, I need some clay for, for the forge uh, before I go down there. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to go... Uh, collect some clay. Uh, make sure we have everything else. Yeah, we have some wood. Okay, I definitely think I'm going to need some more wood because I only have 107, but that's okay. Where is this clay? I seen it on the map. 
I gotta go looking for it here. Ah, here it is, right over here. Is this clay? Yes, there we go, we got some clay going on. Oh, you know what I should actually make for this? I should make a shovel. A shovel does so much better with clay. Uh, what do we need here? Three plant fibers. Okay. Uh, I don't have any room for plant fibers. Oh, so much stuff. I really wish we did have a bigger inventory. Like, even now with more added items into the game, it's going to be even more of a pain in the ass to really, like, navigate your inventory. Like, I know you can go like this and, and sort it, but still, you know what I mean? It's, we need, we need more room. I think that's what I'm trying to get at. Okay, awesome. Actually, how much, um, how much do we need for the forge? Uh, I haven't looked it up or if it's, see if it has changed. Only 50? Oh, that's nothing. Okay, that's not bad. So we're going to go collect some materials, and then I'll go and <laughs> break through that everlasting door. And then uh, we'll have a forge safe house before day seven, of course, as my old habits die hard. Awesome. I like how clay looks in the desert. And actually, I don't know if, I, if, I'm, if I'm seeing things, but it definitely looks like clay has a different uh, texture in the desert on the sides. It has, like, the, the desert texture. It's pretty cool. The Mesa, I guess you can call it. Alright, awesome. I definitely want to grab some too because I want to throw some into the forge right away. Ooh, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to get more wood if I plan on doing that. Hmm. Okay, what do I have here that I don't need? Grain alcohol. Actually, I want to see if they change grain alcohol at all. Where is it? Oh, I picked everything else back up. Okay, let's see what grain alcohol has. Oh, yeah, it still has minus wellness. Useless. Okay, I'm, per I'm sure there's a recipe or something useful down the road that I can use those for. Uh, but I haven't actually used grain alcohol in forever. I think since, like, I first found it, I used it, and I'm like, this stuff ain't that good. Okay, um, it, it works if, like, you have no water, but it also dehydrates you, so it's kind of goes against its own point. Okay, let's go in the city here, where the city will be inclined to have more trees in it. I was playing on my server the other day. It was really funny. I heard someone complaining in the chat. They're like, I wish the deserts had more wood. <laughs> oh, that made me laugh. The worst desert ever. It's kind of realistic, though. I like how it's not, like, trees everywhere. That makes sense. It's a freaking desert. And the ones that are here are pretty much dead. But you know what? There should be at least a live tree or two in the desert. Maybe a little pool of water here and there. Because you know what I mean? Deserts have oases, right? Ooh, this is a 1,200 tree. That should give me uh, quite a bit of wood. I'll take out these small ones, too, because they're, they're easier. This one, I, I think, is a little harder. How much do we even have? 236. Okay. I don't need a terrible amount, so I probably won't break this. Oh, oh, never mind. I thought that was uh, one of the smaller trees, but that's still a large one. I like to only break down the smaller trees with lower weapons because it takes forever this way and you don't get the bonus, right? Like, I'll be like, oh, I have enough wood now and I don't get the bonus. But I'll eventually come back and maybe take down this tree because there ain't very many. And I don't want to spend forever here. I just want to get enough going so that I can get uh, better weapons, better tools, and then uh, we'll move out and move on to the next town. I'm kind of nomading it, you know what I mean? This isn't a permanent thing at all. It's um, Alpha 15, so... A uh, lot's going to change over the course of the experimental, so nothing is permanent. Uh, so those playing on my server as well, too, don't get super attached to your stuff, because uh, it could possibly be gone tomorrow. That, that's that's a thing. Okay, let's get some of that yucca fruit in so I can eat and restore at least a little bit of stamina before I try to take out this guy. I want some more XP, I want some of them levels. Now, I gotta look at the XP levels too. I don't know if you get more XP for killing a certain type of zombie. Uh, but, whoops. I hope you do, because like some zombies are tougher than the others, right? Like ferals? Ferals are tougher than like your, um, your nurse, you know what I mean? Like it'd be unfair if the nurse gave you the same amount that a feral would. Okay, awesome. Oh yeah, that's right, we were on our way also. Oh, wait, no, I have my bellows. What am I thinking? I was like, oh, you have to get iron. I'm an idiot. Okay, let's go back. I got my clay. What I'm going to do here, is, of course, is once again, I'm going to start banging on that door. I have a few hours here before I start getting really harassed 
But it does look like I may be spending the night in this place, which is okay because I have lots of water. I can raid it. I can break through other stuff, you know, spend some time doing that as well too. Well, it's not so bad. But uh, definitely let me know. You guys will still hear some pops and everything too, but definitely let me know, guys, if it's, um, if it's improved or if it's worse. I, I really... You know, the feedback is greatly appreciated. Like, if, if you, if you want to help a content creator, guys, don't press that downvote button because you know why? We don't pay attention to that. We just figure it's some sort of hateful troll because we get so many. If you really want to be constructive and you really, you know, there's something that you really didn't like in someone's video, uh, just mention it. Don't be an asshole about it, right? Or you'll get an asshole response, obviously. Uh, but let, let's say you thought the audio volume was down a little too low. And instead of hitting that dislike button, because all that does is promote the video, it doesn't actually, like, do anything, uh, leave a comment. I mean, if you can take your time and hit the dislike button, leave a comment as well. It definitely helps us out, right? And I mean, or if you don't like the content, like even with my most uh, recent series on, um, on PS4. I mean, I'm on day 260 or something like that. Like, I have everything I need. I'm, I'm just building now. Like, I'm building for fun, right? And a lot of people are, are getting upset over that. They're like, well, we want to see looting. We want to see everything else. And it's like, guys, you know what I mean? Like, there's not much else I can do on here. Building is endgame, and it's what's going on. And I had to explain to a few people. I'm like, if you don't, if you don't like it, it's like a channel, right? YouTube channel. And when, when you see a TV show on a channel that you usually watch that you don't like do you call your cable company and cancel it and unsubscribe from that channel no you just you don't watch that show you just skip that show and i think it's going to be a little bit of fun here with um with trying to match pc and console people together because um well we all know how well that goes uh because this is a this is a cross-platform channel as well too guys if you're just joining my channel or if you're new um, and you're one of those people that like, oh, uh, PS4 sucks, console sucks, or PC is better, or or PC sucks, console is better. Uh, please just, you know, I, I'm not trying to be insulting. Is there one in here? Nope, they're upstairs. Um, yeah, please do us all a favor and just, just don't comment. Like we don't, we don't appreciate that attitude here. Um, ever since seven days, because I was a PC player, and then um, I also play a console as well too. But um, ever since, like, uh, Seven Days to Die has come out on console, you know, it's it's done nothing but good for everybody in the long run. Um, you guys here, we would be playing Alpha 15 right now with the ladder bug, the ladder hunger bug, if it wasn't fixed on console first. You, you know what I mean? There's just a bunch of tiny little things like that that really help out. Having that whole extra studio is, is actually, like, a great thing. Oh, shoot. Do I not have any plant fibers on me? <laughs> I don't. Okay. I'm sensed. It's going to be a little tricky getting out of here. But I need to go and grab myself a plant fibers because my tools are going to break overnight here. This is really fucking tricky to do this, to be honest. Um, this is not a good idea. Okay, awesome. It sounds like they're all back there. So what I'm, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to clean these, this out. Obviously, grab myself some plant fibers. Holy shit. Look at all of them. I'm going to grab myself some plant fibers here and uh, make sure I have some tools for overnight. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to continue breaking through that door. Uh, once I do get through that stupid door, I will, uh, I'll meet back up with you guys. There's no point on watching me uh, sit there and, and bust a door for, for the next 20 minutes. <laughs> I'll be back shortly, guys. And we have success finally through that damn door. I did throw a few more points into my crafting, so now I have level 281 tools. Ooh. So what I'm going to do here is we do have some time. It's 1900. Uh, I do have some busting around to do in here. So what I think I'm going to do is actually spend the night in here tonight. Uh, getting everything ready. I made my forge, so the forge is good to go. Uh, what I'm going to do is run to my other base. And I'm going to see if I have anything in there that's forgeable, because I probably have iron and everything else sitting in there. Uh, so I'm going to want to get that going right away. So what I'm going to do is place this forge. Uh, what do I have on me here? Okay. I do have some clay, so I'm going to start pumping that clay into it right away here. I'm going to turn this on. And we are going to head out to my other base and grab any forgeable items I can possibly find. Oh, that was so much work, but I'm glad I got it done. Early game, iron doors. No fun. Okay, let's get up here. At least they weren't fault doors. Those fault doors are really insane. 
Oh, look at this. Look at this. I'm going to grab some wood while I'm out here, too, because I still have a few hours, and I really do need wood. That seems like it's going to be the, the most precious commodity at this moment. Awesome. And before I do leave this desert, what I think I'll do is I'll stay in this desert for day seven. What I'll do is I'll grab a POI and I'll take the day seven or the, the seventh day horde on at that random POI. Let the POI get trashed because honestly I could care less. I don't plan on ever coming back. The house owner is never going to find out who did it, uh, but whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? They can suck it up. They're probably not even around anymore anyways. I haven't seen a single living soul since I started this single player playthrough. Uh, that's the one thing, like, single player is a lot of fun because you can build whatever you want, wherever you want, no one's going to fuck with it. Uh, but it also does get a little boring too because then you're like, I have no friends. You're literally just by yourself completely. What happened here? Was this me? Huh, weird. Okay. Maybe some, uh, some crawler damage? Okay, uh, what did I grab there? Oh, yeah, a can of dog food. Uh, I'll leave that there. Okay, we got ourselves some iron. We got ourselves. What else we got ourselves? I got myself a lot of food. Ooh, actually, I'm going to take that bit. Oh, wait, no, I don't need that bacon and egg. I got lots of food on me. Uh oh, whatever, I'm taking it. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm going to pump some of that into. Um, if it runs out, I'll just leave half. There we are. Uh, tokens, I usually I used to put those in the uh, the forge, but definitely not anymore. I don't want to be doing that. Some glass, uh, bullet casings. I'm actually gonna. Oh wait, you know what? I don't know why I'm saving this stuff because I'm not gonna be in this area permanently, so it doesn't even matter. Okay, cool. Got everything I need from my storage. I probably missed a few things. Um, <laughs> 2020 hindsight, hindsight 2020. You know what I mean? It's always the best. It's always easier to see things when you're not the one playing, right? Like, I always found that frustrating. I'd be watching my friend play Call of Duty. It's just like, dude, man, there's someone right... Oh, he killed you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I can see a lot. It's it's weird how that happens, but it is what it is. Like, someone, when I was overheating, someone said, oh, you should have uh, jumped in the, the water tower and took a dip. Well... <clears throat> I could have, but I just ran all the biome. It wasn't too far. Um, it would have been a good idea if the if if it was already open, but I was already overheating. I would have I, I would have spent time trying to get in the thing, breaking it open. You know what I mean? I would have overheated just trying to get in it. So uh, that was the quickest way I found to get that dealt with. Okay, awesome. So this thing here, you know what? I'm actually going to let this thing just go all night, all by itself. We still got time. It's only 2100. I'm going to go spend my night up on that roof because honestly, guys, like I've, I've done, I've done this bunker thing so many friggin' times. I just don't want to do it again. Bunker is boring. I never get any, they just, they just go up here. They smash it around. They smash the garage. It, you know what I mean? Like it's just, there's no challenge to it. So I'm going to stay all that bunker. I like the possibility of dying. I, I really do. Like, I, I want to die, you know what I mean? Like, the end of uh, the end of a few episodes. I've died twice already in this playthrough. Absolutely fantastic. Joel is doing better than me. Yeah, that's right. Joel's doing better than me. Oh, my god. But that's all right. It's a learning lesson. Makes me laugh. Especially when I died, when I went all Leroy Jenkins on that last video. I didn't even know what I was thinking. Like, no health, nothing, and I just went full, full tart into that. <laughs> I don't think he could scrap oil. Nah, I don't need any of this stuff because, like I said, I'm not staying here. I'm just doing like a nomad playthrough, um, especially now that it's super easy to build a forge. Uh, pff, there's no point in staying in one place now. You know what I mean? It's, uh, oh, and I think you can actually um, lift up the forge, too, with a wrench, if I'm not incorrect. Can you guys pick up a forge now with a wrench? Is that a thing? I should check up on that because I heard a rumor. Okay, awesome. Uh, I have uh, no, a half hour here left gonna go and uh you know what i'm gonna uh, make hay bales all night just to raise my levels i think or or make some uh make make some plant fiber clothing that is what i'll do that is very useful i'll make some plant fiber clothing overnight because believe it or not plant high level plant fiber clothing is actually incredibly valuable oh my goodness i ripped through these cactuses now with this this better tool loving it I can't believe I haven't hit up all those garbage cans and everything yet. Hmm. <laughs> oh, almost 2,200. I'm just grabbing what I can before uh, before the night's up. Uh, 
So that forge room should actually keep the zombies pretty busy. They'll keep them over there, keep them away from me. You know what I mean? It's kind of a win-win situation in that manner. Oh shit. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go here back to our restaurant. Our dinners, drinks, and shakes. I think they redid this one. So I, I, I swear these were just all bobs before, but now they're not bobs anymore. And back up for the night. Awesome. Uh, what can I make? Oh, you know what? I don't even need that on me right now. <laughs> so scatterbrained. I love how I play sometimes. I get stuff done. I just get it done in random order, that's all. And it does appear as if the mechanics have changed, because I have not seen a single dog, but I know for a fact that the wasteland is just absolutely full of dogs. Like, they're just dogs everywhere. But I didn't see any dogs, so that's, that's a really good thing. Actually, we've seen very few zombies, really. Um, I found this last time that I had already cleared this area out, I wasn't really getting any zombie spawns in it, like the occasional one or two here. But as soon as I went to discover some of the other parts of the city, uh, they started spawning in. And the city's huge, by the way, too, guys. Absolutely humongous. Uh, okay, how fast can I take these suckers out now? <laughs> That's actually much quicker. All right, so what I got to do here is I got to spend uh, the night making a... Uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah, you know what? Uh, let's look at recipes. What can I make? Bed rolls and misc. I want to do a bunch of plant fiber hats. Oh, you know what? I don't know why I'm not wearing a hat. I can just make a bunch of plant fiber hats. I'm going to be all fancy. And then you know what I can do? Uh, now, someone asked me before when I was making um, the bunch of uh, bandanas why I didn't just scrap them right away. Okay. This here is why I didn't scrap them right away and why I put them in the container. Now, I have 25 of them being made in my inventory here, and I just scrapped the first three. Now, uh, I can't do anything else, right? Like, if I go here, I can't scrap it. There's no room in my queue. So that's why I was using the temporary, uh, the temporary storage to slap them in. I did break them all down afterwards and made some, some more with them. So that's what I'll do. Like, I'll take these plant fiber hats, break them down again, make as many more plant fiber hats as I can after that. And then, uh, yeah. Oh, did they? Did they? Plant. Okay, it looks like they may have. Uh, let's check that out here, actually. Whoa, look at that! Okay. Okay, they changed a few things. Now there's just heavy armor and light armor. Huh. That's cool. Okay, I can appreciate that. Tailoring. Uh, uh, craft plant fiber, cloth. Oh, okay, yeah. So plant fiber and cloth is for tailoring. Light armor is hide or leather clothing and heavy armor is scrap iron or military armor oh, oh you can make military armor now oh fuck is sick okay cool yeah that, i like that change because it used to be like all over the place before but i can appreciate that either that or i'm just imagining things and nothing's really changed but there has been a lot of rebalancing done so i'm finding little things here and there but that's all part of the fun all right, awesome. So I'm going to spend the rest of the night here doing this. Uh, we have one more day until Horde Night. So the next episode here is going to be going and checking out a good POI to spend the Horde Night at. Maybe throw in a few wood spikes around the perimeter if I can go find some extra wood. And uh, we'll kind of go from there. So I'm going to scrap all these hats. Obviously, you know what? Put one on. That'll keep me cooler anyways. Because, uh, you know what? I had to sacrifice my military helmet. Whatever. If it keeps me cool, it keeps me cool. All right, there we go. Now, now see, now, uh, now I can scrap these all, and at least get some back, and then make some more with the, the scraps. So, as usual, guys, stay classy, stay surviving. Always back up your game saves if you're on console or if you're on PC. And as usual, I'll see you in the next video, be it on console or on PC. Keep it classy, guys. See you soon. Peace. Turn it on, turn it on, turn it on, turn it on.